Hello, welcome to Heat Geek. I'm Adam, and today we're gonna hey, do whoa, whoa, Heat whoa, whoa. Pump Hey, what? Who the hell is this, guys? What's what's going on here? The UK or Netherlands? Who does heating better? The Dutch. UK. We are top of the Scott. There is a Dutch heat pump is leading. <laughs> so also we are better in the Scots. This is embarrassing. Oh God. <laughs> oh, this is, uh... So I think your heat pumps only have to be a scope of two, two, two and a half. Is that why you guys aren't that good at installing? <laughs> Patrick is a super interesting guy, a bit crazy like me. You might call him the Dutch Adam. Please tell us a bit about your backstory. Like, where did you start? And like, you've got, he's got this crazy company you're going to hear about and some very out the box ideas. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Seven years ago, I was sick and tired of the just normal installation, the, the poor installation. So I decided to start our own company and for heat pumps and only all electric and doing everything all different than, than the normal companies where you have a company that you have to make money but it's not the first thing we're thinking about we have to make fun and we have to make a high quality installations and when you have passion it's all going very easy You've got like a Scooby-Doo van. <laughs> yes. What vans do you have? We have an A-Team fan, because we love it when a plant comes together. Uh, <laughs> we have a hippie fan. We have uh, the Scooby-Doo fan. Uh, when yeah. people drive on, on the highway, they see the fans and they, it gives us a smile. Right, let's get to the meat. Yes. Who's better? I'm going to put my first case forward. We're better because you guys do more hybrid installations and we do less hybrid installations. For our UK viewers in Holland, they typically uh, install hybrid with a boiler a heat pump. So it's a boiler for doing hot water or when it's super cold with a heat pump connected, or they would term it as all electric uh, heat pump. Is it rare for you guys to like to be an all electric heat pump installer? Are most installations hybrid or? Yeah, well, in, in the Netherlands, the, the, the government's pushing on hybrids. So mm. people read the newspapers, uh, listen to the government, and they hear about it, and they think they need a hybrid system. But you don't need it. You, you, can, you always can go to all electric, so the step to hybrid and then all electric, mm. it's not necessary. I think it was um, the policymakers that needed to go hybrid then fully, and they assumed yeah. the industry did too. That was their problem, yes. not physics. Phys the physics works, right? Yes, absolutely. I think 60, 70 percent, so from the head, is hybrid, and that is because the misinformation everybody gets. So in that case, maybe England is better. But with all electric installations, yeah, we're better and we're doing more. Uh, so we have to do more. Uh, only there's also small differences when we look in the years. Uh, we, we, we're going better and better and, and we're doing more installations. So we've we done 50,000 installs last year. Yes. How many installs did you do last year? In, in, in the, the Netherlands? Netherlands? Yeah, 120,000. I think we would have struggled to get up to that level because we have small, more smaller in the Dependent installers like one man band. Is yes. it common to be one man band or is it bigger? In we have a lot of uh, one man bands, but more we have the, 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 the installation companies with 10 to 25 people. It's a slightly different. In the UK, we're one man bands and really you need to be two, three, four, five, six men to install a heat pump uh, for, for the work. Yes. But we have potential, therefore mm, yes. I'm going to take that point as well. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, yes. Oh. We are top of the Scots. Where's my top of the Scots t-shirt? <laughs> uh, is there any Dutch installs on there? There is a Dutch heat pump is leading. Oh. The leaderboards, I out. thought so. <laughs> so Can also we are there? better in the Scots. This is embarrassing. Oh God. But also that's uh, have to do with, with, with the weather, the kind of houses. It, the, 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 yes, there's, there's a lot of lot to say older, about We've got that. older housing. We're better because we've got really old housing in the UK. Yes, it's Victorian, exactly. Edwardian. You guys got new houses. But God, also amazing. scops is a point of discussion because I'm always saying I don't care what the scop is because I want to know what the machine is doing mm. in December, January, yeah, yeah. February. Then yeah. I want a good You want cup. heat first, comfort, then yes. you want scop. Yeah, 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 yeah 100%. Yeah. So I think your heat pumps only have to be a scop of two, two, two and a half. Two, two, two point two. Yes. Before it's cheaper than yes, the gas exactly. boiler. Is that why you guys aren't that good at installing? <laughs> what, you, what you see is, is that a lot of people, a lot of installers just doesn't look that, that good at the installation because yeah. it's 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 yeah 2.2 2.5 yeah yeah whatever yeah. you just put a heat pump in 
Ciao. The worst things I saw when I was in Netherlands with installs, so the, the carbon steel for the heating, yes. I like, well, so apparently it's like half the price, a quarter yes. of the price yeah. of copper. <laughs> quarter of the price of copper? Yeah, yeah, quarter, yeah, yeah, yes. But right here, I'd see, I would have seen that as low quality because our water is not as good as yours. It will corrode quickly. It's better, it's uh, better in Holland. Yeah, it's better, better in the water. water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we do VDI, like the German water standard, so yes. we're better yes. at water quality than you guys. <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot more <laughs> work. It is like, it's, it's more work. So I, I don't know if that's a better or, or worse. Um, you guys are definitely better set up business-wise your business is set up to, to scale to, to do heat pumps right key, key differences I went over to uh, Holland recently I saw how you install yeah. they have some pretty high standards over there <laughs> um, much less regulation though which sounds a bit um, contradictory but it's true what uh, what have you seen like of our installs that is, is kind of different to perhaps what you think you see some differences for myself I never thought about the the, the weather difference with, with the Netherlands and England's or the shine is Till minus 10. Uh, I understand in your design is minus three uh, in, in most cases or minus five yeah. or wherever you're in yeah. the country. So that's a, a difference in, in uh, for, for the heat pump, a big difference. Also, and I think that's very nice in England, they do a lot of copper. They use a lot of copper and that looks nice. Shiny yeah. things, yeah. it's always good. Yeah. We uh, use uh, stainless steel. It's low carbon steel. You yes, use. And, and that's cheaper. But then again, I was thinking the water quality in, in Holland is, is much better. So uh, our houses in, 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 in the Netherlands are a little bit better. In England, you have a 90s home. It's, it's like a 60s home yeah. in, in the Netherlands. So there are quite some differences. Most of your home is built post 90s, right? I think we've got like the oldest housing stock in Europe yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've we got much more newer, newer. houses. So overall, I'm going to be the judge because that means uh, the UK win. <laughs> but I would say there's obviously stuff both sides, right? So we, we said uh, about regulation. You guys don't have regulation that allows you to grow. One thing we have practiced now in the UK is how to do the design and efficiency. I think we can like share knowledge there. I do think you guys have definitely got some interesting different stuff over there, which maybe we'll share on this channel. But I think like regarding building businesses, especially, you know, you're a an example. You guys, we've got to bow down to you guys for that because like you've got that nailed, obviously. Is that a fair assessment? What's your roundup of English installs versus uh, Dutch installs and the industry in general? The, the industry in general in, in, in Holland is poor. And I think in England it's also poor. But companies, people like us, uh, we're changing it. We're making uh, the, the mechanics proud on their installation. That's very important. And then we're going to do it better. And we have to learn the other also make it better. So, so it's poor, but we can do much better and we're gonna do it much mm. better. Couldn't have said it better. Yeah. Should have just asked you the first time. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. And for our new Dutch fans, make sure you hit subscribe for notifications on new videos. We teach a lot of free content on this channel and there's access to our paid for education program, which teaches you the finer details of hydronic design to maximize efficiency in Scott. Make sure you like the video and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, before we do. Thank you so much for coming in, bud. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Drie dingen de Engelsen. <laughs> Drie dingen de Engelsen. De Engelsen? Twee. Minder regels helpt je bedrijf te groeien.